Hey everybody, in this video I'm going to share with you my free uh, dashboard template. This one will allow you to animate your charts so they'll go from start to, to finish on, on a timeline so you can see how they progress over time. So the way that this template is set up, I've got a, a sheet for my pivot tables, for my data, and for my dashboard. Now it doesn't really matter what you do with these other sheets, you can sort them however you want, or you can get rid of rid of them if you want. Um, the main thing is that the, on this dashboard sheet, this needs to remain largely uh, in place the way it is right now. You can hide these columns here, but how it works is it's going to go through all the charts on the dashboard sheet and update them using using this timeline. And so here I've got. Um, values that have dates going back to uh, all, all of 2021. And so in this example, what I'm going to do is jump by one month at a time from December 31st, 2020, all the way to December 31st, 2021. And so off to the right, you'll notice I've got a section here for dashboard. I've got this animate dashboard button. And if I click it, what it's going to do is jump through this slicer one month at a time, starting from this date ending at this date. So if I hit the button, what it's going to do now is it's going to reset and now start jumping one month at a time. So you've got this animation that's progressing and it plays, plays you a sort of story month over month. So you can see how these, these values progress over the course of the year. Now that was a one month at a time jump. I have options here that you can specify days or years if you've got multiple years of data. You know, so let's let's do days. Let's say I want to do two weeks at a time. So I'm going to increment by 14 days at a time. Go back into here, click the animate dashboard button. Now it's going at two weeks at a time. You'll notice now look, it's halfway through February, and of February, halfway through March, and the March. So it's going at, at a slower rate of basically two weeks at a time. So you can customize this depending on what your data set looks like. If you've got a an earlier start range, you can do you you can adjust this. If you've got a later end date, you can also do that. The point is, you know, if you wanted to show this as uh, as a video to somebody, you can set it up this way so that it's jumping by whatever interval you want to. You could even do you know a screen capture and record it as a video. So something that you can make a bit more bit more dynamic as opposed to just a static chart so this is a free template and if you wanted to you can add more charts as i just set up two as an example so for instance if i went to the pivot table section here and did a copy and paste and let's say i added some different different fields here if i go under my uh pivot table field list and let's say i add in um another field in here and what I can do is go to insert, insert another chart. Let's say this one, let's do it a, a 2D bar chart. And so again, this needs to be on the dashboard page. So it's not a terribly great chart, but for the sake of putting it on here, let's put it on there and then get rid of the field list buttons. And I could probably actually clean this up, get rid of the, uh, Get rid of those salesperson just at the store. Go back into my dashboard. So now I've got a bit cleaner. And so now what I need to do is before I update this, check on this timeline to make sure that it's connected, that this slicer is connected to that chart. And so if, you, if you're not familiar with this, what you can do is under the timeline option, there's a section for report connections. I click on this. You can see all my pivot tables are selected. So you wanna make sure all of them have these check marks to make sure they're connected. So if I make a change on this timeline, it's going to affect all of those related pivot tables. So now what I can do is go back to the home tab. And now if I click animate dashboard, now it's gonna update every single one of these charts. Okay, so this one is the newest one. And if I hit this, it's gonna reset it. And now you'll notice that all of these charts now are changing. And again, it's jumping by two weeks at a time. So you can add more charts. You can change the, the charts that you want. The key thing is you want to make sure that those report slicers 
are that those report connections are are set up so that the timeline chart links correctly to each one of these pivot tables and these related pivot charts and so it's going to cycle through every chart on the dashboard sheet so it's important again not to change this sheet you can change these other ones but any sort of charts that you want to animate make sure that they're on here and make sure that they are connected in the report connections section and then it's just a matter of going to the home tab hitting that animate dashboard button and it'll start from your start date and go to your end date moving by however you've set up the increments to move by and that's in a nutshell how you can use this template so if you have any feedback please let me know and uh, other than that hope you found it useful